Howdy y'all, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are safe and I hope you guys are healthy. My name is Josh and if you are into kind of like streetwear fashion, men's fashion in general and things like that, feel free to follow me on all my socials which is at wears underscore Galdo. Uh, but without further ado, let's get right into this uh, video. Today's gonna be an unboxing and review of a pair of boots from a designer that I very much love in collaboration with Doc Martens. And this package is absolutely gigantic. It's like seven pounds. Yo, so this company packaged their things like absolutely perfectly. I think that's kind of like satisfying to see sometimes. I know it doesn't happen often because a lot of people can't really choose their cardboard boxes they ship in, but um, that's just a little minor thing that I, I notice with some companies. Wow, this is the first time I've actually ordered off of this retailer, and I gotta say their packaging is absolutely amazing. Um, what I mean by that is that like they give you a whole folder with a quote on the front as well as the company name. It's super washed out, so you won't be able to see it, but this has like my receipt in it. It has just more information in there as well, but really the main attraction here is going to be this uh, so there's a box for the box. More great packaging from this retailer. Oh my god. So it's wrapped, it has a little card, a packing card from whoever packed it. So I appreciate you Beatrice. Opening it up like a little Christmas gift. Right here. Doc Martens, Rick Owens. That's beautiful. Boom, the Rick Owens, hold on, let me get the official name for it. Rick Owens 1460 Quad Pent Rick Owens Black. That is the tag if you guys wanted to see that. I went ahead and got my true to size. I know some people like going uh, down a size when it comes to Doc Martens. I appreciate my true to size when I go to Doc Martens, but this boot is absolutely beautiful. Um, they're really, really robust, very, very chunky. Uh, the laces are absolutely gigantic. Look at that, look at the thickness of that lace. Hold on, let me actually grab a tape measure. So after a couple of little measurements, the laces themselves are super thick. They're almost, almost an inch wide themselves. The sole is Super, super chunky, super tall, like not quite platform level, but definitely taller than a regular Doc Martin. Uh, it's almost two inches at the heel. There is a zipper on the medial side uh, that will basically ease your way into the shoe itself. And this lacing system is definitely the biggest selling point for me personally. Doc Martens and Rick Owens have done collabs in the past and I tried to get the very first one, which is like still kind of this like pentagram or hexagram, whatever they call it, um, lacing system. But this one is different in that uh, the I'm fairly certain the first one also had a little bit of an elevated sole, but I'll put a picture up on the screen right now. But uh, the thicker laces kind of add a little, like a bit of attitude, a bit of uh, a unique characteristic to it. And I mean, the exaggeration of the sole mixed with the exaggeration of the lacing system and the wideness of the laces, I think go together so beautifully. Now this one is done in, you can see the texture of the leather in a more of a pebbled, softer leather, which I think is going to be really good because you, the breaking in process isn't going to be too, too bad with these. Um, if really at all, because like these are surprisingly soft compared to some of the Doc Martens I purchased in the past. We've got that co-branded Rick Owens Doc Martens hang tag right there. Um, of course, the iconic Doc Martens yellow stitching around the sole. Um, personally, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, yellow stitching, so I very well may actually get some like black dye and just dye over that 
yellow stitch because I just kind of want it to look more like a regular boot as opposed to a Doc Martin specific. Another cool detail about the boot is that the kind of, I forget what that's called, the pull tab on the back of the um, top of the boot is not the typical black and yellow. It is kind of like a black and kind of a bone, a little bit like of a really light gray. The laces are set in place with these kind of, I don't know what they're called, eyelets, I guess, but they are kind of reminiscent of like how hiking eyelets are on hiking boots and that is arranged in a very interesting pattern. I think that I like this one actually better than the first iteration of Rick Owens Doc Martens just because the thicker lace um, fills in a lot of that empty space that's between the laces of the first one and so I'm actually really glad I was able to get this and I'm glad they reiterated it in a more exaggerated version. Um, the tongue of the shoe is kind of reminiscent of older Rick Owens boots or like a uh, Geo basket with a high tongue. I really also like that and it's, it's kind of angular But yeah, generally speaking, this is just a Normal boot that is a lot that has a lot of Rick Owens characteristics to it And I think that's the beauty of a collaboration, especially this one um, These retailed for 370 before tax and before shipping um, and I was super super lucky and glad to be able to get this I was actually at work when this dropped and I was thankful that I was able to still get my size, but let's try these on. As I'm opening up the boot and unzip the zipper, I was kind of pleased to find another little detail about the shoe. So the tongue itself, so this is the tongue of the shoe, and then obviously this is just like the sides, but when you open it up, the tongue is actually gusseted, and that's what this portion is here. And uh, a lot of that is, um, the purpose for that actually is basically waterproofing. I don't, I don't think this is meant for um, kind of heavy, function based wear. I think this is more of a fashion statement, but the gusseted tongue is kind of a nice little addition because I know Doc Martens doesn't have gusseted tongue um, shoes in their regular lineup. So upon further inspection, this is kind of me recording things after I've recorded the original video, but this boot actually happens to me an amalgamation of the previous 1460s that they've done in the past, Rick Owens and Doc Martens. So the first iteration had this kind of pentagon lacing system. The second version of the 1460 had the fat laces and would wrap around the shaft of the boot and now this iteration is going to be uh, the pentagram lacing with the wrap around the top as well and uh, yeah just figured I'd throw that in as a little fun fact. After trying these on and trying to style them I absolutely love this boot. Really really great um, kind of it's not really a basic it definitely has a lot of like character to it but it feels like a basic shoe but looks so much more unique than that and I really love them I highly suggest them to you guys quality is pretty freaking good if I do say so myself 370 is quite a high price tag retail I don't know what resale price is going to be I know for the first um, Rick Owens Doc Martens collab resale prices are kind of crazy right now. Um, I think the first one's going for like $800. I saw a listing for that, which I was like, that's absolutely insane. But um, I would say for 370, this is actually a pretty good cop. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I appreciate your guys' time. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, and before I go, the typical YouTuber stuff, like, comment, subscribe, cool boot solid video. Thank you guys so much. See you later.